Hey, what's up? So I kind of randomly started putting together this camera rig because I really wanted to try to recreate some eight millimeter type video. Now I don't have an eight millimeter camera to shoot with. So the next best thing would be to create a little rig that kind of emulated the eight millimeter look. So I have my GX85 and a new lens, which I'll talk about in a second. And I got the Lie EVF, which I did a review on. You can check that out right up there. But then I got this little battery pack, which is the same one that I used on the EVF video. And then this pistol grip, which most eight millimeter cameras back in the day had pistol grips like this. So if I wanna try to recreate the eight millimeter look, I'm gonna try to shoot like I would shoot with an eight millimeter camera. So I'm gonna shoot it in this configuration. I'm gonna use the Lie EVF to give me four by three crop markers so I can frame my shots better. And I'm gonna turn my IBIS off because I don't want any smooth video. I want it to be a little shaky and gritty just like the old eight millimeter cameras were back in the day. So let's go out on a quick hike. I'll shoot with this and then I'll show you how I graded the footage to try to make it look like an eight millimeter film. So yeah, that whole little sequence was filmed with the GX85. So now let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you how I grade this footage. And I'm gonna be using Film Convert to do most of this, but you can create a very similar look by just using the color wheels, adding some grain and adding a film border as well. And all those things are pretty easy to find for free online. So it just might take a little bit of digging. So here's an image that we'll start with. This was shot in the GX85, 24 frames per second. And as you can see, it's nice and shaky because I took off the IBIS. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add film convert nitrate and we're gonna choose the camera that we used. I used the GX85, so Panasonic. They don't have the GX85, but they have the G85 and I shot it in Cine V. And the G85 and the GX85 have basically the exact same color science. And now it's gonna apply the proper colors and contrast to this footage because it knows what it was shot on. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the film chroma down a little bit because I don't really like how much magenta got pushed into it. So I'm gonna take it down to about 50% on the film chroma, maybe 45. And then it looks a little dark, so I'm gonna bump it up just a little bit. Down here on the film size, we don't wanna use 35 millimeter full frame because that's not what we're trying to go for. I'm trying to go for a super eight look. So you can either use super eight or eight millimeter. I'm gonna use super eight. And what that's gonna do instantly is it's going to add the eight millimeter film grain. And as you can see, it pushed the softness to 68. And that's gonna soften up the image a lot, but it's almost too soft for me. So I'm gonna take that down to about 45. And then we're gonna go down here and I really wanted to recreate like some of the old eight millimeter stuff that I've watched. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these shadows and move them to a more warm tone. What that's gonna do is kind of give us a little bit of a fade and make it look pretty old and vintage. And then I'm gonna take the mid-tones and just push them ever so slightly to the magenta. And as you can see, if we toggle on and off the film convert, it's taken it from a very digital looking image to a very non-digital looking image. And I feel like the green that Film Convert adds actually looks pretty believable, at least to my eye. So now that we have our basic grade, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a eight millimeter frame on top of this footage. So I found this for free online and there's a bunch of free resources that you can find these. This is with the eight millimeter frame. This definitely helps sell the look for sure. The one thing that I didn't like is that you can see the video in this little box right here. So what I did is I took a black video, inverted it to white, and then I just kind of dragged it so that it was just covering this and just changed the opacity a little bit. And then what that's gonna kind of do is make it look like it's like a film burn. 
instead of just seeing the video through this little slit. So that's basically all I did to try to recreate the eight millimeter film look. And I just did that on all of the video clips that I shot while we were out hiking. So let's talk about this 17 millimeter F1.4 by TT Artisans real quick. I do wanna say that TT Artisans did send this out to me, but they're not paying me to say anything nice about it and these are gonna be my honest and unbiased opinions. So this is a very oddly shaped lens. Without this step up ring, you can see that it's kind of shaped differently than most lenses are. It's a little wider towards the mount and then smaller towards the threads, but it's not that big of a deal. This is an all manual lens and it has a pretty nice focus throw and the aperture is clicked, but it's a very subtle click. The only things that I don't like about it are that all of the markings are printed on there and not engraved, so they could scratch off. And at f1.4, it's not the sharpest lens in the world. I tested this lens against my 15 millimeter f1.7, which is what you're seeing me on right now. And as you can see, the TT Artisans at f1.4, it looks really good, but when you compare it to something like the DJI 15 millimeter at f1.7, the DJI is a bit sharper. But once you start stopping this down to about an F2, this lens gets really sharp and basically just as sharp as the DJI. This is the second lens that I've used by TT Artisans and I really like what they're doing. They're putting out some really affordable lenses and this lens actually comes in the Fuji X and Sony E-mount as well. It runs you about 140 bucks brand new and it's a great little lens if you're looking for something that'll give you about a 38 millimeter field of view. And this is a perfect lens to shoot a array of different subjects. If you wanna check it out, I'll have a link to it in the description below. Thank you TT Artisans for sending this out to me. It was super fun to use. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that quick video on how you can try to recreate the 8mm film look with any camera that you have. Again, you don't need all this stuff. Having just a pistol grip would probably get you most of the way there. Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed my video, it'd be really cool if you hit the like button. And if you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe. If you'd like to watch some more of my videos, you can click on either side of my face. Once again, thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll catch you all next time. Later.